Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and I'm going to show you how to install the Dexter Easy Flex system. This is going to allow you to put a new equalizer in to be able to give you a nice smooth ride compared to that stock equalizer that will come on your trailer. This Dexter equalizer is going to upgrade your equalizer for a smoother ride. While the rubber core is going to minimize the back and forth movement of your trailer and helps to absorb some of that road shock. Now what I like about this system is that it's going to differ in two different ways from your factory system. It's going to have that rubber bumper to absorb the shock from the road so it doesn't transfer through the trailer and into the cab of your vehicle. You're also going to have wet bolts connecting all your moving parts with nice handy grease circs on the outside so that you can keep all your moving parts well lubricated. So here's a good look at the comparison between the old equalizer and our new Dexter equalizer. You can see the shock absorber in the middle. That's gonna to help to give a lot smoother ride. The old bushings we're taking out are gonna be a nylon bushing, which have the tendency to wear over time. So you wanna make sure you keep track of them, make sure you keep them up to par. Our new bushings are going to be a brass bushing, so it's going to hold up a lot longer, and our bolts are all going to have grease cirques on them to be able to keep them well lubricated. You are going to have heavy duty shackles that come in the kit that's going to help to support the heavy suspension that this is going to be able to take on. With that being said, the whole construction of the system is also going to be heavy duty steel, so you're not going to have to worry about any of the parts being compromised. The bronze finish on the outside of this equalizer is going to help to resist corrosion. If you have a tandem axle setup like we have here, there's going to be a 6,000 pound and 8,000 pound kit available. The kit we have here is going to be an 8,000 pound, so it's going to be a little bit heavier duty to be able to support that weight. It's also going to be available for triple axle trailers in both 6 and 8,000 pounds, just CE trailer. Now if you're wondering how to determine what size kit you're going to need, whether it be the 6,000 or the 8,000 pound kit, we measured between our axles, you need to either get 33 or 35 inches between your axle spacing. The 35 inches is going to be your 8,000 pound kit and the 33 inches is going to be your 6,000 pound kit. We have kits available for both. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's go ahead and show you how we got it installed. To start our install, we're going to start by removing our wheels from our trailer. Now we're going to remove our five bolts from our equalizer so that we can get our new equalizer in place. We'll go ahead and remove our plates and our bolts. Now we can remove our equalizer now that our leaf springs are removed. Pull that bolt out. We can slide our equalizer in place. Slide our bolt through. Thread on our nut on the other side. When you're putting the nuts on the back side of the assembly, you want to make sure you squirt in a little bit of anti-seize. They do include you with two of these packets but it should be more than enough for both sides. And we'll wait to tighten that until we have everything else assembled. Next we'll need to take a pin or the old bolt that you pulled out of this hole to knock this bushing out because we'll be replacing it with these new brass bushings. To get your new bushing in place, you want to stick it in place, take one of your old bolts, slide it in, and tap it into place. If you do it till it bottoms out the bolt, it should have it in the right spot on both sides. Now we're ready to install our shackle link. Here you're going to see those grease cirques I was referring to earlier, and the two holes where the grease is going to come out and lubricate these pivot points. To get them installed, we're going to start with a little bit of all-purpose grease, 
Here we're using bearing grease to be able to get our shackle installed. This is just going to help it slide in a little bit better. We can go ahead and get that in place. Slide it into place just like that. Now we'll take our bracket, slide it on the back side of our shackles, and thread on our nuts. Now that we have our equalizer all put together, we can go ahead and remove our outermost bolt on our leaf spring. What we're doing now is we need to jack up the axle, remove our jack stand so we can lower it, the leaf spring enough to be able to get that bushing out. Now we'll take our punch again and knock out that plastic bushing. Now we'll take our new bolt and insert it on the outside. And we'll place our nut on the back side. And we'll do the same process for the rearmost part of our leaf spring assembly. Now we're going to take a 21 millimeter wrench on the outside and a 18 millimeter socket on the inside to tighten everything down. After you have everything tightened down, you want to go back through and torque everything down to the specifications in your directions. Once you have everything torqued down to specifications, you want to grease all these zerks before you put your wheels back on. It's just going to be a lot easier rather than trying to grease it while your wheels are on. When you see it start oozing out the side, that's more than enough to fill up that gap. Now that we've got everything fully assembled, we can go ahead and repeat the same process for the other side. Now you may have noticed that our shackles, one of them is facing up in the correct direction and one of them is facing down. You may have to jack up the front axle just to get this realigned and facing in the upward position. To correct our shackle orientation, we raised up our front axle and that lowered down our shackle. Now we can just crank up on the rear axle. And you'll see that those shackles are going to be in the correct orientation now. With all that being said, guys, that's going to do it for our look and installation of the Dexter Easy Flex system.